I just uploaded video on Sinisha, Dr. Sinisha Bogovic from State Hospital Clinical Center of Vojvodina, Serbia. Actually, no, it's South Serbia. And his direct, direct involvement in uh, causing... He's directly responsible <coughs> for four eyes, four cancers I have in my eye, very rare cancer. So all details are given in that video. I'm now going to create a video on two doctors, two Russian doctors, actually three of them, I don't know, but the third one, if he had access to my previous uh, health history, it's about hospital elixir from Novi Sad, which is uh, regularly regularly visited by doctors from uh, federal state Russian hospital Fyodorov in from Kaluga. There are a lot of other uh, offices of that uh, hospital. So first of elixir. This is in <coughs> video uh, where you can find folder uh, link to folder elixir which i'm going to open now this is uh, explanation of that folder <coughs> lawyer of that hospital hospital elixir uh, let's see what else yeah and fiodoro russian embassy ignoring my emails <coughs> russian doctor federal hospital and uh, this is also important so for some reason i don't have other yeah this is the other <coughs> video uh, the a uh, russian embassy brutally lying that they haven't received so Russian embassy in Belgrade, they brutally lying, they haven't received my emails from June 2021. And this is probably the most important video when it comes to so-called conflict between the United States and Russia. No exaggeration here. This is the video that confirms I have cancer in my eye. So <clears throat> I'm now going to open that uh, folder and I'm going to do that okay. by using this video to show that it is public so uh, <clears throat> As I explained in, in that video uh, about Dr. Bavovic, I explained all the uh, the content of this folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show that doctor who is involved. I did this in in the video in the video about Dr. Bavovic, but I need to do it again. So everything started on 12th of February. This is my first visit. Day after I visited, less than a day actually. Because I visited Dr. Bobovic previous day uh, after 8 p.m. So this was around 3 p.m. something like that. So the date is this, 12th of February 2019 and uh, <clears throat> the first problem is is this so Dr. Sergei V. Isayev um, speci specialist in ophthalmology so he gave me these are some drops he gave me dexazone, which is corticosteroid 
for major inflammations, severe inflammations, uh, glu uh, calcium gluconate, whatever it is properly spelled, and C vitamin. So dexazon uh, and uh, this is the first problem. The second problem is that he didn't mention, which is mandatory according to the law, that I asked him why I cannot get the a uh, diprofos, which is another corticosteroid. I explained that in in the video uh, about Doctor. Babovic, but I need to explain briefly now. Again, so I asked him why I cannot receive that medicine uh, below my eye. This is extremely strong medicine and way, way more effective than, than dexazon. And he said there's no need for that, but he didn't write that, that here. He needed to write it here. He only wrote that I'm complaining about uh, worsening of my eyesight, redness of a left eye uh, a week backward, and so on. And actually, that was it. So, uh, he didn't write that. And that was my first visit. <clears throat> On my second visit, I, I, I get. I got that shot again of Dexazon and then third visit uh, I didn't at least it doesn't right here uh, that I received third uh, shot of Dexazon and I really don't remember if I did really it's the same doctor so Sergei V. Isayev, and I don't know if I showed that here, it's again him, Sergei Isayev, Sergei V. Isayev, so uh, DA, and this from uh, June 2010 are my uh, From June till July 2010 are my uh, reports on the same problem I had with my eye iridocyclitis, uh, inflammation of iris, so uh, which was treated with diprofos in the same hospital elixir. So he knew about that, and I went for the fourth time fourth time there but it was different doctor nobody explained why is there is a different doctor so this guy is uh, alexei m co i cannot really write it kozuno or something like that but i cannot i cannot really blame him because i don't have proofs that and i, I didn't ask him i don't remember asking him about the a uh, Dexazon because I didn't get any shot there. This was just a, a examination to to see what's my condition. So I cannot really uh, blame him. I I cannot prove that this hospital provided him with uh, the uh, my previous health history in uh, the treatment in uh, in, the, in uh, 2010. But this other doctor definitely knew about him because I asked him why I cannot get diprofos with I, which I get in 2010. So, and this is the crucial point as I ex explained in uh, in the a uh, uh, in that video about Dr. Babovic on the on uh, related to emails I sent to Elixir so these are emails I sent to them uh, yeah and one more thing when I 
So this is the, the important one. The other ones just I just uh, forwarded those emails to, to them. I didn't address them directly. So one more thing before I proceed. So uh, I uh, mentioned uh, Russian doctors. So when I mentioned Russian doctors in my other videos, I didn't mean uh, I didn't refer to that second doctor, Alexei, I think. So uh, I was referring to other doctor, or maybe she was a nurse who was translating. I will show that in in a second video, in a second uh, email of this thread. So I was referring to that doctor or nurse. I don't know if she's a doctor or nurse, female. So this is the first uh, warning prior to suing them. Actually, this was uh, this can be considered as crime considered as crime report because I'm now acting as state prosecutor, supreme state prosecutor because they ignore me. I have a right according to the law to do that. So I, I asked him here in uh, 8th of May 2021 20, to pay for the damages they caused, uh, to pay damages for uh, cancer they caused. And uh, since they didn't answer, I sent them another email on 10th of May, and this is the crucial point. Uh, these are my uh, accounts on Twitter and so on and so on. So this is the crucial point. Again, I explained this in a video about Dr. Babovic, but I need to explain this again here. Uh, let's see where I should up here so uh, what so uh, so the nurse a doctor Russian woman this is why I refer to doctors who was translating what I asked the doctor got very angry when I started asking questions about the therapy, noting that you were obligatory. I, a Russian doctor, the first one, then for some reason the second one took over, to write down everything I asked, this is uh, the thing regarding that medicine, regarding treatment and therapy, such as the question in the first examination regarding not being prescribed diprofos or given diprofos way more uh, effective corticosteroid and uh, two doctors afterwards after this happened two doctors one from one from one from state and the other from a private hospital confirmed so they confirmed diprofos is way more effective than dexazone so you cannot know if i recorded so this is the crucial point you cannot know if i recorded the, that, that conversation because I left a lot of evidence for later in order to lead prosecutors, courts and the police to commit criminal acts for certain reasons. So you can say in case, so you can, uh, so can you, in case you claim that I didn't ask that. So that was the first part. And... Uh, The second part, so due to the, uh, due to the, the uh, administration of other injections, in this case dexazone, not diprofos, later I could not receive the same one, so diprofos, even if I wanted to, because they told me at the pharmacy that it must not be combined and that the injections you gave me are extremely strong and they're given in the most severe cases for some reason. I also needed an injection uh, in KCV, clinical center of Ovidine, because my condition was not improving from the same only doctor who prescribed me uh, fo FOSI, I don't know if this is properly translated. So this is uh, the list of uh, uh, problems, illnesses which can cause problems with eye that iris uh, severe inflammation that I had so the doctor prescribed me f 
Fossa, I don't know if this is properly translated, which you, the doctor, uh, had to do at the first examination. They also didn't do that. And they also caused the, by giving me those uh, drops for uh, extending pupil, I have permanent uh, enlargement of pupil, which, uh, which significantly uh, affects my vision. Now I, don't, I have problems with my vision. So this is permanent state. I have some other problems, but I, I didn't mention that here. So uh, that was that email, crucial email. Then I uh, sent them another email next day on uh, 12 diseases I cured, but suddenly, naturally, it's 12, 12 uh, incurable diseases that I cured, incurable according to uh, convenient medicine, I cured them naturally, I give them details about that here, and I asked them how it is possible that I did that, but I ended up with cancer in my eye, I didn't have any other problems, didn't visit doctor for 20 years, I don't include this inflammation, eye inflammation, and then I contacted uh, their lawyer, Danica Konstantinovic, you, I think they, I, I think I showed a video about her uh, about her ignoring me. There she is. So she's the lawyer of the hospital. She did a huge favor favor to me because when she ignored me. Uh, So, so this part is crucial by ignoring me that so that was doctor uh, sorry attorney of that hospital elixir so she ignored me and I'll show email I received from elixir about her so by ignoring me she did a huge favor to me and save huge time so I don't need to uh, prove anything, another email to her, May, 12th of May, she never answered, so I don't need to prove that this hospital is guilty because uh, she, because their lawyer didn't want to represent them and I'm sure that it, it's one of the best lawyers in the city, and probably in other nearby cities, so I'm sure they also tried to find another lawyer, but no lawyer wanted to, to defend or represent them. So uh, this hospital and Elixir uh, answered only once, referring, uh, telling me that I should contact that their lawyer. Actually. They didn't say that's their lawyer, but it's logical that the, uh, she's their lawyer. And this is the uh, email uh, of that lawyer, which can be seen in, in those uh, emails I just showed. So she never answered. And in this video can be seen that she ignored also my Viber. Uh, Viber... Uh, message and she also hang up on me when I called her using Skype. It can be heard when she when she hang up. So uh, this is a really rare uh, occasion that hospital cannot find attorney that will defend them, represent them and uh, again by doing this they prove they are guilty and on top of everything as I just showed, Russian embassy is pretending that they haven't received my emails, which is another proof that they are guilty. And of course, it is really strange that uh, United States federal government, which controls directly 
YouTube, I proved that in a lot of videos, a lot of videos, but this one is more than enough. So this one, not to mention that they are decreasing my views big time. So in the context of internationally organized crime, so uh, yeah, they're watching these videos. I sent them, I sent uh, that state hospital the a uh, yeah this one three videos so they're watching them now obviously and uh, that would be all regarding let's see if i forgot something no i think that would be all so that would be all all regarding involvement of Russian doctors so again I don't know the name of other doctor that female doctor or, or nurse whatever I know only the name of uh, that first doctor Sergei as far as, as I remember so Sergei Isayev <coughs> And uh, I think that would be it because I have a lot of other videos to finish up, and uh, they are all related to to this matter. So to the a uh, uh, to four cancers I have in my eye after Russian doctors treating me. And what is also important to mention that there uh, I try to have examination uh, in three private hospitals in hospitals for eye diseases in uh, Smedrevo, so private, uh, and they refused to do that to examine uh, my uh, cancer in my eyes. So. Uh, I uh, I assume that police, uh, actually military or state intelligence, visited them or talked to them. And why military is explained here? If you type military, this and this and this and so on and so on, or you just type arms trade and you figure out why military. especially this one which is put on purpose at the end this is the most important video on illegal arms trade this as well and uh, let's see this one so this is sort of an update so as I assume they talked to them I uh, I called them and, and told them that I will visit them so I, I wanted other people to know that I will visit those doctors because, because I expected they will refuse to examine cancers in my eyes. So these uh, doctors are from, as I said, Smedrevo, city in the area where I live. I live now in countryside. So uh, Sunny Optic, I'm, I will create a video on that right away. So that here they are. Then uh, then focus and the last one <coughs> uh, Dr. Danko of Thermologia This is a male. Yeah. <coughs> so there he is. Dr. Molgin Smedrev, Dr. Slobodan Danko. He uh, 
he refused to examine my uh, those cancers. He's he's uh, uh, the only one of these three uh, offices that uh, confirmed it's it's black in my eye. So black is uh, is cancer melanoma of, of the eye, and I will create brief video about them because I explained everything here there won't be that much to explain and I also explained a lot in that video about the a uh, <coughs> about Dr. Sinisha Babovic so for now I will I will finish here